My name is Super Ninja Jet. In this video, I'll be working on my next project. So, I have returned home. I had, in between episodes, I made the return journey back home from the stronghold that I discovered. And so, um, yeah, today's episode, I'm going to be working on, or at least beginning to work on, a way to get to the stronghold faster. So, I'm going to be doing that. So, um, uh, what am I saying? You're going to be doing that, so. Firstly, though, uh, off subject, or off topic, but I want to go in, uh, I want to go to my villager trading hall real quick, since I saw earlier that one of my villagers actually was, um, trading, I think, like, some emeralds for, uh, the mending enchantment, or enchantment book. I think that's pretty good, so I want to share with it the lock in that trade, assuming he still has it. Da! Too late. Uh, darn it. Too late. I'm pretty sure it was this one, too. Uh, should have done it earlier. Oh, well. Uh, as always, next time, I guess, right? Yeah, anyway, um... Enough of that, though. Uh, let's go to Nether, since I plan to start my building there. So, what I want to do is I want to make kind of like a minecart system that will allow me to travel to basically different areas that I want to get to quickly in the overworld since every box that you travel in the nether is equivalent to eight blocks in the overworld so if you have two portals in the nether that are spaced like a hundred blocks out from each other the port the equivalent portals that they connect up to in the overworld will actually be 800 blocks away so the nether is definitely going to be the way to go if I want to make, um, if I want to be able to fast travel from one location in the overall to, the to another, something like that, so. I'm going to be doing that, so. Um, so let me kind of lay out my idea for you. So, I I'm going to build, I think I'm going to build kind of structure, kind of like, Kind of like beside this one, but also slightly behind it, since I want to be able to expand this in the future. That way, like, I can have, like, kind of tunnels branching off in this direction, that direction, that direction, and that direction. And so I don't want any of these buildings to get in the way. So I want to build a, this structure at an area where nothing here will be able to get in the way of any of the um, mine carts or tunnels. So that's what I want to do. So I'm, what I'm thinking is I can start building, not start building, but uh, make kind of break away this wall for the time being. I might just put like a simple door here or something. Yeah, maybe like a spruce door or something. But for now, I'll just mine all the way like that, so. Go ahead and get rid of this, so. I'm gonna be making a not a U-turn, a turn to the left, I guess. So. There we go here. Whee! That is lava. That is lava. Gotta be very careful since I think lava travels farther and faster in the nether, so, um. I gotta be very careful, otherwise, it might just get scorched. Burnt your, burnt your crisp. I don't know. Um, I think I was gonna say before that though that I made um a few pickaxes. I I made this one I think when I got back from my turn journey from the stronghold, and then I also made two others as well. So should be all set. Hopefully, hopefully I won't have to go back to the old world and overworld and make some more. We'll see. Good thing break um another rack quickly though. That's a relief, I guess. Something like that. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really um figured out like a definite design for this structure in my ideas world or anything, so um, I kinda have a bit of an idea in my head if I don't have like if I haven't like unlike other builds that I've done, I haven't like like tested the structure out or like seen how it look. Or like test out like different designs, like a separate world before building it here, so 
I just gotta um, see how it goes. Hopefully, um, hopefully get lucky with how this works. But I'm kind of just gonna play by ear, I guess. Just see um, see how it will look, you know, as I go along, I guess, something like that. So go over here and then mine this way, and this will be where the wall will go. Turn these into stone bricks. I guess turn into entire stacks. So I don't probably need it. Probably need that much. Maybe more, but we'll see. Uh, that has some glass, so let's see uh, where I want any windows to go. Glass my inventory so that you not want to accidentally place that. Okay. Now, um, let's go and get to these walls actually. Gotta mine this entire area out. I'll start with the walls, and then I'll do the floor and ceiling lastly. I think we all cut end up being time after I mine everything out, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I think pretty much I mined out this area, so now let's go ahead and get get the filling and filling all this in. Starting with the walls, I think. So go ahead and place stone bricks along here. Since this stone bricks will just be for the bottom layer of the wall. enough cobblestone with me. Hopefully I actually smelled enough cobblestone for stone bricks. That'd be annoying if I had to go back to the old world in order to in order to smelt some more. And what do I want here? Uh go make some stairs. See how this will look for a sorry again. Dwarf I'm not dwarf out if you want to call it that but well, like this, maybe. So, if I want to like change the floor, like something else, then probably best if I use the door. Then that way, kind of. Then with this, if I kind of a bit maybe a bit jarring, I just sound like went from I think this is granite to like something else, like spruce wood. But there's a doorway at least, then kind of like be there to like separate the two floor types. Just um, let me, let me see how that looks though. Uh, just spruce wood, just placed it along here. Does that, be, does that look off? Hmm. I don't know, maybe, maybe I just continue the theme of gray and night, maybe that'll look good still. I guess I'll just keep it like that for the time being. Uh, let me actually just fill in the ceiling though. I'll go just get this over with. Uh, I'm 
you know, sort of different monsters. I think I heard an Enderman earlier, too. Hopefully he's not too nearby, hopefully if not close, hopefully I can get, get in my way while I'm building. I might just try a spruce wood just to see how it looks for the time being. Then if I don't like it, I guess I can just change, just change it out later on. Yeah, there's this quartz, I guess. I can. I think my final pickaxe, if you don't include my diamond pickaxe, I'm just trying to save the diamond one for um when I need when I want when I need to use it like I'm um, mining up like it's like obsidian or something you know since I don't want to don't want to have to make a I don't want I don't want to have to make like another diamond pickaxe at least not yet. You know. Save that for the time being and. Now, uh, let's figure out torches, torches, where would torches go? Mm -hmm. If I placed it at the windows are at, maybe? Maybe not that close. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. That works then. One, two, three, four. Uh, and here I think maybe we have an archway or something or a doorway that leads into the main room where all the minecart stuff will be. Or that'll kind of branch off different directions. That makes sense. So have this here like that. So I think still gonna have to try to figure this out as I go, but I think um just kind of a, see where this uh, takes me. So so I think um I don't know what do I think um I think maybe I can maybe if I can connect that um that structure that leads down to the other floor up with that tunnel maybe something like that. Something like that'll show me a uh, real quick. Let me get some slabs and then put that up top there. Where are these bullets coming from? Coming from back there, maybe? I don't know. Uh, go up here real quick and just find a slide that way you can't see that and then. Put this there instead. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we do that. Now, get over to here. I think maybe if we connect it up with here, I think. Yeah, I think we can do something like that. There we go, there we go, and then 
Just have it maybe connect like with here. Hmm. Alright, now I got um, this in here. Turn the rest of these into planks, I think. And make some doors. I think that would work. All right. All right. All right. So, got that out of the way. Now let's see. If I want to go over in this direction with this being the way, um, not that much. Actually, this this might actually work. I think. Um, yeah. So if we have the structure kind of um, if we have this room kind of butting up against there. That might actually kind of work. So, do this and then. I think actually I'm going to go back to the overworld real quick and just make some more pickaxes and then I'll be right back then I'll get to mining out the entire room or how much of it, how much of it I want to mine out here. Alright, alright, uh, made some more pickaxes so let's get to mining out this room. So I think maybe in kind of keeping a theme with them um, all these other structures, not the other structures, but kind of like with this hallway and this room here, I think the ceiling will be maybe four blocks high. Or be like four blocks above like four blocks, say that. So, something like that, so. Uh, do it like that. And then. Yeah, just, uh, how much, um, how far do I want this to go to the side that we're in this direction? That's a question. Uh, I think I'll just, uh, maybe do a time lapse. Or, maybe not a time lapse. I think I'll just maybe skip ahead in the video or something until after I mine out, figure out how much this area I want to mine out. So then, then after I mine that out too. So, I'll be back after I've done that. Alright, now, I am still definitely going to be expanding this room further, but for now, I kind of just want to um, figure some stuff out. So, uh, get rid of that, and then replace that cobblestone block, and I think maybe we can just replace this entire wall, or mine this entire wall out, and then replace it with um, stone bricks and cobblestone. So, and get rid of all this here. And also, I want my last um, hard pickaxe again. I'm uh, really going through those really quickly, aren't I? Yeah. Alright. So, go ahead and fill all this in. Then, go ahead and do the same for this wall here as well. So I kind of want to have like where the minecarts are. They're going to kind of go into a little tunnel, and I want that tunnel to kind of extend out like two blocks or so for the wall. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Nice mark this here so that that I think that'll be where the minecart would end or kind of go. I think something like that. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe have another one here. These and stone bricks, and I'll probably be needing them. Okay. Uh, would this work? Maybe. Oh, actually, no, I think that this actually would just be plain cobblestone, I think. Hmm. 
yeah, yeah, I think this will just be plain cobblestone since the minecart's gonna be kinda like like one block keeping the ground kind of, so I think we go like this. Um Mine all this away. I switched to time pickaxe just for this last bit. Uh, I'm gonna make some more stairs. Like a lot, actually. Okay. I could push this area back in a couple blocks and then maybe push this back in a couple blocks here. That way there'd be like an area where you could like walk over here without being like kind of like just like to be fair being a little gap where you can walk on. But you can still walk on it regardless. And do something like that and then and then there'd be two others that kind of like uh, go off in these two directions as well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think I could uh, do something like that. Tell you what, I think we're going to end the video here. Then I think I'll continue with this project in the next episode. Since this is probably, like, all things considered, like, um, building this area and then, like, the minecart tunnel that will lead to the stronghold. This, this whole project is probably going to take a little while to complete. So, I think end the video here and then okay, I'll continue in the next episode. So. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve my content, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.